Good morning, everybody. We're on a field trip this morning. We're headed up to the log yard where Jim's logs were taken yesterday. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see how they're scaled up and all that. Well, let's, uh, let's go back to yesterday and uh, I will show you us getting some of these logs loaded up. Well, here we are. I got my log job and ended up getting a truck to trailer this time. And he's headed down, backing in from the road, back down to my log job. I gotta run up and grab a chainsaw just in case I need to do any cutting. And he'll get him down, himself down there and situated and we'll see if we can't get these logs trucked. So I grabbed a chainsaw and uh, headed back down in. I see he's already down there and loading up. It looks like he's a pretty good truck driver. As he drives down in here, I see very few spots where any of the tires are off the plowed driveway. So that's good. This is a new trucker for me. Caleb to see if I am curious to I'm gonna go over there tomorrow. He's gonna scale him up tomorrow. So let me get ahead of you so I can be on the road. So he's all loaded up, ready to head out. But he asked me to plow a little bit more on the road so he has a little bit more room to put his front end out onto the other side of the blacktop. So I will hurry up and go do that now. So here's the moment of truth, whether or not he can make it up through here, all right? I think he can.
kind of thought you'd make it in one shot, but you probably weren't expecting to make it in one shot. No. But. Down in the city? Yeah, we're both. With logs. With logs. Yep. So as my truck heads to the yard, the yard meaning it's not the actual sawmill, um, I actually talked to the guy that, that owns the place and I'm actually planning on going there tomorrow as he scales up the logs. So I will um, take some videos of that and show you guys how um, logs are scaled up and uh, hopefully we can all learn a little bit there. So we'll see you tomorrow. We have finally reached our destination. And he said to go down through the yard to the back. an interesting rig. Oh, more, more log down there. Spots everywhere. Gee, for Gordon. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> Although it did snow a lot last night, right? Is it possible? It didn't snow a lot. Let's drive down through the yard to the bottom end of the yard. Well, it keeps going. No, it's right here. Nope. It's a big a lot of land, a lot of logs all scattered all over. These are by my logs. There's a truck down there. There's some new logs. Those aren't yours though, right? Hello! Uh, is looking for Caleb? Yeah, I'm Caleb. You can. Okay, hi, I'm Jim Gordon. How are you? Good, good. good. I just got started. I'm going to run up and grab my saw. Okay. If you'd like to run down and just park. Yep. I've got a couple of helmets and high-vis vest for you. Okay. And a price sheet. Okay. 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 I'll be right back down. Very good. Nice to meet you. Caleb. I've been doing these videos for a couple years now. Of course, I log with horses, which is very unusual. Yep. But, um, I'm trying to promote horse logging, but I'm also trying to promote logging in general. Yep. So good. I mean, I checked out your, after you asked, I checked out your YouTube page. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So. Neat. Yeah. yeah. I had some, some uh, family that used to be in the horse logger. Oh, really? Yeah. Going back a few generations. Yeah. Well, your grandfather's of, brother. That's the way it was done then. Most of us have. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people have a lot of interest in it. A lot of people yeah. very interested all over the world. Yeah. Low impact and neat relationship yeah. with the horse and yeah. the woods and the ground. And, yeah. yeah. So could you just, just tell us a little bit about what you do here? You're a grader? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my name's Caleb. I went to uh, the ranger school in Wanakina and I got a two-year forestry degree uh, from there. Um, they covered grading very loosely. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big part of the curriculum. Um, most of what I've learned has been 
just work experience and going to visiting sawmills, seeing logs cut out and how defects open up. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, on on the job experience. There yeah. is grading schools and things yeah. that people go to. It's not something I've done. Okay. I know a lot of friends of mine have gone to Tennessee, I think it is, to a grading school down there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're from Vermont, southern Vermont, and uh, uh, there was a sawmill in the area, and he had quite a few of his, well, a couple of his employees I know went down there yep. for grading school. I was a forester, a consulting forester, uh, for 15 years uh, with Landvest. Okay. Um, you so that, that allowed me to, you know, get on the job training scaling for 15 years that wasn't necessarily um, buying logs right. but seeing logs caught scaling them on the land and then send them to the mill and see how they scaled out yep. just check scaling yeah i've just been in the industry now 20 years mm -hmm. so that's that's my my training been doing this here since uh 2017 at this yard yeah yeah hmm. So, are you born and raised in this area? Are you from around here? Yeah, Warrensburg. Yeah. Okay, well, we don't want to slow you off much with this at all. I, I'd love to ask some questions as you're going along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you say you wanted us to wear hard hats? And yeah, I've got... Oh, uh, right there. Oh. A couple of... Oh, shit. Yard rule. up your hands. How cold were you here this morning? Pat said it was 10 below at his place. 17. 17 below? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How do you crank this? Quick, yeah, it did. It has. Yeah. yeah. It may not be too far off. Have you tried it yet? Oh, I can wear my hat, right? Yeah. It's no, just it's your back. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I don't wear these very much. Just have to be Lucy sitting on there. Good enough. I'm not going to film myself. Put that on. Yeah, long way. on that job, so it was three quarters. I've uh, been there a couple years. That's a long way. But you saw I was using different things. I used to, maybe you didn't watch enough, but, but I sometimes I was using a scoot, which is a 12 foot runnered sled. Okay, I and then, see that. Okay, and the wheeled one's a dray, yep. and that works pretty slick. Of course, yep. I have an excavator up there to load it, so it's not that, that bad. Um, and I load some pretty, that's a pretty good size loads. Yep. So, on the safe now. And the dray. Yeah. That dray, I've hauled pretty good loads out of that. Okay. So, so what are your your tools? You got the yard? Yep. Just scaling stick, scaling and I use the paint to to mark out uh, mark the logs out for different customers. Okay. So on the are these by who they are? Or are they by, uh, by customer? By customer, yeah. So they came in from several different loggers. Did you get that uh, price sheet? Yeah. Okay. Haven't looked at it yet, but yeah. So is that that's different than the one you sent me earlier? Yeah. Move prices off. Good. I like that. Yeah. yeah it's a good time to be cutting maple. Okay. High demand for it. So this is part of your load here. I already scaled uh, most of that. I didn't scale the veneer yet. Okay. Um, the the letters is just for is for my benefit and where where things are going. But you can follow along how I grade with a prime, select, one and two, and palette. Yep. I'll use P, S, one and two. I'm just doing this for your benefit. Okay. Just so you know what Okay. I'm perfect, perfect. I'll, I'll start from the other end and I'll start grading these up through. Okay. And then at the end, I'll start in with the veneer. That takes more time, but I'll at least show you what I've done and yeah. what I think yeah. is going to make veneer. And one of the other other little tidbits that Take people it. would like to see. The interesting part. And anything I would literally, really like to know, anything I'm doing wrong to tell me, yep. to help me. So far, I already walked the whole load. So far, you're doing uh, better than most. Really? Well, that's good to know. I've logged all my life, but I, I really haven't logged a lot of hardwood. Hardwood, uh, Yep. But I have learned a lot from other people, and so yep. it's always good to learn. Yep. Well, seeing a lot of 10 and 8 foot logs lets me know that you're, you know, trying to cut for grade. Yep. And, and you know, finding the best clear section of log. Yep. Which, you know, in, in straightness, a lot of times, you know, cutting a 12 foot log is easier, but you'll end up with a hook in right. it or a defect toward right. the end that if you cut it off, it would have been a higher grade. Right. Also, another advantage of the 10 footers is. But get more in the truck. Yep. So, 
these logs, I'm assuming they're all the small ends here. That's where you got them up in the air like that. Yep. All the way down through the whole low road here. There, the small end is up, so because that's what he scales off from. Yeah, this is a handheld grading. Uh, it's a computer is all it is. I put in uh, the species, the small end, uh, diameter, and the length, and then the grade. And it all just goes into the handheld and we'll spit out a report. So that's 15 and almost a half by 16 so I'll call that a 15 inch so hard maple 15 10 feet and that's a half hearted log so by my grading system that would be a 3 but it's a really clear, nice log, and I know what I can sell it for. It's gonna be graded as a select. Okay. So, um, just to tell people, he he scaled that kind of both ways to get the accurate uh, scale on it. He's a lot of logs oblong, mm -hmm. and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And so he also checked the heart, which is the brown part in the center, because what he's looking for is, is uh, let me think here. Well, you can explain a lot better. You, yep. The smaller the heart, the better. Yep. Because what, that gives more white wood. The white for the wood is what the mills want. The select lumber is clear white white lumber. Yep. And that's what what the mills want. That's what pays the best. So the more white lumber they can get, the higher the grade. Right. Right. There's a lot of studying when he's going through this to make sure. I thought that was the small end. I got 16 and a half by 19. And almost a half. Call that a 17 by 10. Defect here and here. This is where it pointed to as a defect down here. That's a, probably, yeah. I'm going to call that a 18 and a 10 foot and a select. To mention? It's between a uh, third and a half part. Yep. Not quite a, nice enough to make prime, but a nice one. So even with those two defects, but since they're both on the same side, I'm guessing that's why it still makes a good log? Yeah, they're on the same face. Yep. So just so people understand that don't know anything about this, they call them a face. A face is, if this was look, if you look at this after the outside's done and it's four-sided, that each of those sides are a face. Like a box. Like a box, yes. Yep. That's 11 inch by 8 inch. That's a number two. This is a large hearted log. Oh, I guess so. Trees go to all different places. Yep. And yep. several different mills. Do you know what they get made into? It's all lumber. Lumber. Yep. Okay. Except for the the veneer. Any veneer will get made into uh, like veneer sheets. Yeah. Either at a rotary mill or a slicer mill. So are most of your markets in the states, or does a lot of it still go to Canada? A lot to Canada. A lot to Canada. Yep. Yes. Yeah, we supply. Uh, Several local mills, local being you know New York mills, right, and 
several Canadian mills. Because we just don't have the mills around here anymore like we used to. Right. I thought so much lumber came from Canada though. A lot of softwood lumber. Oh. A lot of back and forth then. Yep, there is. So when my trucker comes here, he doesn't spread these logs all out like this. He didn't. No, he just put them in a load and our loader spread them out. Okay. This is an 18 by 8. This is a prime. So that's the best you can get without going to veneer. Without getting veneer, yep. Excellent. Would you have guessed that? It's a prime? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's a good example of how when you're scaling these logs up, this is so oblong here, you gotta scale it here, I mean measure it here and then also measure it this way to come up with an accurate um, scale. It goes for both ways and then you yeah. Yeah. average it kind of or? And I kinda when I do it I just kinda guess, but um he's done it so much I'm sure he gets a not a lot more accurate measurement than I ever would. Uh, 17 inch, uh, 10 foot, uh, number one. Number one, okay. Got a cat here. And limb scar here and here. So this needs to be number one as well. Brenda, come over here. I want to show you what he just talked about. You call this a what? A cat what? Cat face. This right here, he's calling a cat maple face. More damage. No. Sugar maple, more damage. Cat okay. face, C A P. Cat. 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 Yeah, that means it's like forest lingo. Um, but it's sugar maple. Okay. It's a nice log right here. Nice small heart. See that? Mm -hmm. That's a beauty. I don't know how the heart looks over on this end. But. Yeah, this is a large heart. Yeah. Log 121, 8. I'm going to read that one as a number. Number 1, just because of the large size. Right. out for veneer so now's as good a time as any to go through that this one out of the way. Again it's a half hearted uh, clear log. on my grade sheet it would be a number one. Okay. So this is going to be a veneer log he said. So we'll see how that works out. With veneer there's it's quite a a uh, difference from one veneer to another. We have uh, Two veneer buyers. Okay. And it doesn't take much to stop it from being a veneer, I'm assuming. No, I mean, we'll run into, hopefully we'll run into that and I can show you what would stop it from being one, but there's nothing stopping this one. Nice log. What does the heart size have to be for veneer? Uh, for the, the best grade of veneer, it's, uh, you know, a third. Okay, yeah, it says 40%. Log, right. But up to a half-hearted log will make veneer. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Yep. The heart size is important, but the clear faces is equally or more important. Okay. Anything that's gonna... That the knives, or the veneer knives are gonna run into and... and dull, or anything that's gonna cause that nice white sheet to have 
right. uh, defects in it. There's no veneer mills around here, is there? Not close. Yeah, it'd be great to go through one of them. Yeah, it's neat to watch them work. Length well, 12.5. Veneer at three dollars a foot. So that's almost as good as it can be for what, on your price list. Wonderful. Yeah, that, that's, so that's 190 feet. Wow, Woo. wonderful. <laughs> I should take a picture of you with your hi hat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <I> just <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta take a picture. I gotta show my wife here. You don't wanna get in trouble with OSHA. <laughs> this is just not my thing here. It's on there. <laughs> I'm just that was a crime. This is not a knot or, or or it doesn't matter if it is, if it is a knot? It is, yeah. But it's still priming with that knot. Yeah. Well, small our, our prime is a three clear is our spec okay yep. okay so often as a logger there's just nothing you can do those knots are there you just can't yep. do anything about yep. it what does maple lumber mostly go for uh i mean the better quality stuff goes for furniture grade all that good stuff and then the lower yeah, lower yeah. lower quality stuff goes for for flooring and uh, the knots weaken it that's yes. why you get less yes. money for the knots yeah, and they show up, it won't, so the lumber won't be white. The lumber will show this, you know, dark black knot going down into the heart. Yeah. So the board will have knots. Right. Yeah. Color in it other than white. Which some people actually like. Yeah, yeah I like that. But. This one I put flooring in my house, I want to see character. In yes. Knots. I don't want to see the plain old white. Yeah. We put crap. soft maple in flooring in our kitchen and it came out beautiful. Yeah, Love that. Defects and whatnot. Yeah. So this one, we've got a old limb start here, we've got a cut off limb here, and we've got another one going on here. So this, this face isn't clear, and this, so it's a two clear two log. Face. Which would either be this grade or this grade, because this is 2CF, which is clear face. Okay. And we're talking about the top one, hard maple. Yeah, it's for his prices, but this is how it's graded. Mm -hmm. I graded this one as select also. So there's three logs so far that were didn't quite meet my spec for select. But they're, they're just, they had clean, they were clean enough, and I think the lumber is going to be good enough that my buyer will okay. buy them as select. Okay, yeah. But keeping in mind as I go on grading, I'll probably, you know, compensate that by... You know, next one I see like this. Is so you say you, you put that in prime, but but uh, select. You, you put it in select, but the next one you probably would not put in select. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even see the select that did have three three clear faces. Yeah. Or two. I mean, if it's 15 inches, two clear faces. And heart size. Right. So like that one on the end, I put in select. Yeah. That one didn't meet the heart size. Right. The heart was too big for my select, but it was four clear log had no defects right so. a lot of judgment calls there is yep uh, all right back to this log now so if you're rolling you're thinking veneer yep you don't know what that thing right there that's right here okay time ago or there was a little damage like a t-bark damage to the tree uh-huh that will that will clean up right the, you know for the next couple inches two three inches and it should be cleaning all the way around after that so i'm gonna have to clean up that end for veneer and then 
uh, the veneer companies want square. Square. So the the, the length is going to start here. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is going to go from a ten foot down to a nine foot in scale. And uh, yeah. And there's plenty of wood there to do that. Yep. Yep. And then uh, I'll grade it as a veneer. Great. So even with that one knot, it still makes the veneer. Yep. So it's yeah, it's a small enough defect. Yeah. Yep. A foot. This one basically doesn't have a clear face on it. Right. But my saw marker will take that one. 15 on that. 14. 15, 10. That one will be a number uh, four in mine. It's a number two saw lock. It does make number two though. Okay. Yeah, I'll push it into that. That's a little bit of. Rotten stuff. I can see that you probably have already butted this off the butt. Yes. Yes. That was one of the curious what you would have suggested that I do. There's just so much white wood here. I thought, yep. did I, do you think I made the right choice by leaving that as is? It oh. probably had a knot or something up there beyond that too. So I chose to. Yeah, there's something. Actually, there's a mark, there's a mark that shows yeah. it. Yeah. There's yeah. Something here. So. And it was more in this. Probably a limb right here. Yes. So this is probably, you know back in here might go away uh-huh hard to say but it's a nice nice small hearted on this end and so it you know at least you believe the that heart on that end is going to get smaller up the tree great this one as a prime so i'll call it a 20 inch I'm gonna take a foot off the bottom and call it a prime log. Okay. 10 to 9. So do you do this all day? Like this is what you do? This is uh, some days, yep. Is it hard to stay warm? <laughs> Uh, well, we're moving slow. Yeah. yeah. And it gets windy here. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. You guys get a lot of snow yeah. here, too. And so you're probably working in all elements. Yep. Can't see the heart of that one. Yeah, I can see it through there. You stay warm enough? Toes are a little bit cold. Better move them. Nice and small hearted on this end. It's surprising this job and this is kind of a side hill section there and how some were nice small hearted and some were big hearted. Yep. Oh, that's a bad log there. I'm curious what he's going to do with that. Yeah. See that over there? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, it does have a small heart. Can't remember that log. Can't remember why I would have sent it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see the hook in that log? Yes. I'm making veneer out of it, but I'm afraid it's got too much hook for a rotary log. A little too much sweep. It's definitely a prime log. I very much appreciate you doing this, and I'm I'm I to ask kind of a, an awkward question. Do you take this much time to try to get something like that out of it, and just on an everyday occasion with with logs, or is it? Uh, yeah, that one I probably would have caught. I don't take this much time. No, I'm no, not not doing. This, but I mean, when you come to a situation like this, you you try to upgrade it whenever you can. Yeah, you do. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the I mean the difference to the. To the landowner of right now the prime market on hard maple is really good yeah. it's great um so it's not so much of a gap between that and the lower grade rotary right right um but yeah a few hundred dollars um 
the landowner would make wow. a big difference. And yeah. Keeps people bringing, yeah. bringing products in here. So that didn't make veneer because it's got too much of a hook on it. He was saying but if it didn't have that hook, it would have gone into veneer. But he still did give me prime, which is very good at this, at this stage in the market. These next couple logs, I'm really curious to see how he scales them up because they're pretty grubby. Yeah. Yeah, again, so I mean, this is a zero clear uh, log. It's, uh, it's technically a pallet. Um, I can push that one into a number four, so a number two. Two, right. I'm not sure why I even sent this next log in. Yeah, there's there's good lumber in six feet of it. I knew, and that's probably what I was thinking. There's such yeah. good stuff. Yeah, so this is the box. So it wasn't stupid to send it in. No, 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 there's good lumber in it. And hard maple is so good at compartmentalizing rot and things. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, if you cut this off right here, it's probably perfect. Right, right. So there's still great I've... lumber in that. What, what the mill's gonna do is, is the same thing I'm gonna do. Is, is grade it or deduct uh, you know, a couple of feet off of it and then grade it as it is. I think my experience in the sawmill has helped me realize yeah. what is what's inside that log. Right. And there's you know there's also but, like if you've got your own your own little mill and, and have time to get everything out of some logs that have issues with them. It's right. Different than a, a commercial mill. Right. And I know a lot of commercial mills would see that and just not give me a dime. They would just yeah, call it. They, no, they wouldn't. They probably wouldn't give you much, but it'd go to the mill. And yeah. Would. They would get quite a bit out of it. But I understand. I, still, I understand the whole process of it all. And I'm kind of surprised I sent that to the truth. Yeah, but it's good you did. So it's 19 inches. I took two feet off of it and put a number one on it. Yeah. Real good. Of course, that's one advantage of dealing with it when the market's hot. Yep, right. Yeah, the mills aren't, they're hungry right now, so, yeah. you know, happy to get, especially maple. Yes. Well, I know you're going to take off here soon anyways, and feel bad because I'm slowing you down, so. Well, I don't mind taking the time. It's, I don't mind at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank you for Very letting us come over. Okay, good. Well, and, thank uh, you for the beautiful logs and, <laughs> yeah. So. Thanks again. Yeah, great meeting you. You too. We'll get out of your way so okay, you can get good. your job done. And, and I'll uh, look on your YouTube page, see what yes. you put up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's neat, neat stuff. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was a great visit with Caleb. We're very much appreciative of them to allow us to come in and, and to video this. I really never expected quite a big operation, but they looks like they do quite a lot here. And, uh, I was pleased with how he was scaling and grading, and uh, yeah, I thought it was great. Um, so thanks again, Caleb, and uh, for all you who watched this video, I hope you were able to learn some things. I, I know I did, and uh, I hope you have a great day. See you next time.